Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Abdul Malik. This presentation is to talk about our product, table lamp and fan. First, we are going to executive summary. First, to improve and adopt the best practice to maintain our competitive edge as the best in class product provider. Other than that, our DIY table fan and lamp are small, size and easy to use and handle. We also have many design, shape, and also we are using the small battery, of course. Then we are going to in introduction. The recycle item is to make a product. That means we are using the recycle item to make this table, lamp, and pen. We also propose to other to DIY the recycle item like we are used to then we are going to market <coughs> definition for this product we are focused more to recycle item to produce and the product to cut cost the budget we market the product for purpose to make a better use of recycling product market potential this product can grow in the market because of the price that we are give is affordable. Market demand. We believe that demand in our product can achieve a target that in a year we can sell to make a profit because customers tend to buy product that cheap and easy to use. Hi, my name is Muhammad Ayman Hazib bin Zulkarnay. I want to talk about competitor analysis. Our bigger competitors is our customer. This is because our customer is our target. So we need to study what and wants of their character of the lamps. It means that our customer is shaped and designed their own table lamp and fence. Different customer has different several. Some of them needs this design and some as other. This makes us difficult to read their minds and how to design our best lamp. But this can make we as a producer learn a new chapter in our business and how to rate our customer. The design of the lamps also includes in this analysis. This is because outside there have thousand design that can attract customer to buy it. And some of customer did not like this too in my product because maybe they not prefer to have their own lamp and fence. Other than that, the retailer that have concrete business also might be our competitor. They can make any promotion that we don't have. Next is customer analysis. As we have done our analysis, our customer will not have a problem to use our lamps because we have a put a special element in designs. We also provide customer design of the lamps and fans depend how customer wants but, but it will have extra bucks for that. To make our customer to be loyal with, we make a lifetime warranty for the design. Our price is starting at RM22 ringgit and that one is the basic. Customer can add up anything that they want and depend to their budget. We also have provide designer to design their table lamp and fence. This is how we keep loyal with our customer and to make sure that they are satisfied with our service product. Next is a uh, SWOT analysis. As you can see in the slide, you can read the SWOT analysis table. Recycle item in this product is the main strength for DIY lamp fence products. The, the relatively low cost product will easily be recouped by the recycle item. Also, the product is a green with no harmful emission given customer a healthier life. 
since the management team also designed the DIY length frame, they are very familiar with the product and its capability. Product iterations also become easier in this regard. The biggest threat of to the biggest threat to the DIY length frame is that some customers want more advanced product. This makes it very hard to sell a low cost product. This also dramatically shrink the profit margin. Thus, high sale volume will be needs to make the company successful. Non profit or outside competitor costs also take away market share from the IOL line fans. Next is a marketing objective and goals. Marketing is essential for any organization that wants to raise awareness about itself, its product or its service. As the famous saying goes, he who has a thing to sell and goes and whisper in a wheel is not as apt to get the dollar as he who climbs a tree and hollers. Regardless of whether it's ringgit you after, having clear established goals in getting the word out will help you successfully implement a marketing plan. Objective To make a product from a recycled product for down the cost of product and easy to use for customer and to approve the adopt the best practice to maintain our competitive edge as the best in class product provider. Goals to make our product known in Malaysia and and make awareness for people that recycle product can also make a benefit in our lifetime and to fulfilling our customer needs and are committed to provide the high level of up to sale product to our customer satisfaction. Hi, uh, my name is Mohamad Aizah bin Omar. So let's continue our marketing plans about our product. So next is marketing strategies. Marketing strategies in is an advertising, promotion and public relations. It is the function that guide the development and sales of the product and services. Depending on our product or other country product, competition, budget, and customer type, our small business can use one or more marketing strategies to grow up our company. So, first step is research. To do the planning, our company has to do some research about our market and competitors. It is to help us know about about a customer who is suitable to use our product which is this product is the DIY table lamp fan so next is uh, target customer we also need to do some research to know our target based on their demographic uh, demographic information some details about buying behavior preference and greatest motivations so mostly our target for our product is more to student so next is marketing tools marketing tools is a product development and promotion strategies that action a company used to develop promote its product and services uh, so mostly we use on focus group which is based on based on survey on focus group and second is social networking television commercials and internet ads so we move on to the target market segmentation and positioning. So this segmentation will help us to analyze our offering and the way we communicate and its, its benefit and the value to specific group and it's been called STP which is segment your market, target your customer and positions your offering. So the first step is segment your market. It based on demographic, geography, and behavior. So demographic, we focus on male and female, uh, student age around 13 to 25, for student who's really suitable to use this product, and lastly is secondary school and university. So for geography, we focus on our immediate geographic target is the city that has a lot of place of education. So for behavioral, uh, 
like benefit they get when they use it like feel better, comfortable when they study uh, easy to carry this product and it go anywhere because it's very light and no need to worry about the lighting when they study about the darkness so yeah so next step 2 is about target your best customer so we decide to target most attractive customer which is like I just said is student and step 3 is position our offering this is the last step our goal to, is to identify how we want to position our product to target the most valuable customer segment first consider why customers should purchase our product rather than those of our competitors because it will give more benefit for customers who use it next is we look at wants and needs for each segment of the problem that our product solve for these people so our product will solve these people problem mostly students who study because when they are using our product they will feel comfortable so next is our product and brand management so I let me show you the logo of our company okay so uh, as you can see the uh, brown color the logo is uh, lamb lamb sorry so the brown color is show that uh, nature of earth and also it show also Pretty, healing, honesty, warm, yeah. and the lamp symbol is uh, for our fundamental and the good environment as you can see here, not very, not very clearly, uh, is about this product we can use everywhere and to make a good environment place. So that's all. Thank you. Next is uh, price management. As you can see in this slide. Uh, unit cost is 21.3 ringgit and a markup price is 26.6 ringgit and ROI price is 21.6 ringgit we use our product for pricing is a psychological pricing we use this element to determine our pricing product because in this product, customer determine product by looking in quality, credibility, and usefulness of product. They can judge the quality of product by simply as price in the product. Okay, next is uh, distribution management. Distribution management is important for a company financial success and corporate longevity. It also help to keep things organized, keep customers satisfied and to get the profit margin of business. We also use a distribution management for deliver the products from production department to the point of the strategy marketing. Okay, next is marketing communication. We will take some promotion activity. First of all, we will give ads on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And the lastly is we will hold customer driven campaign in most of town such as distribution of sample, discount of coupon to customer, and the last is price through referral drones. Next is the implementation and control. We will have simple decision friendly weekly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, and yearly report focusing on review and unit sell, expenses, customer feedback, and market lock. As a conclusion, our product has many advantages to the consumer and environment. The unit of our product are environmentally friendly because not all products at external market have this characteristic. Besides that, we provide the affordable product and easy to find. Next, to maintain reputation of our product, we will always keep in touch the relationship with customer by upgrade our product in the future. Ready, accept all comment and advice from the customer.